Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic where we're gonna hop right back in where we left off getting ready to fight with some more rat ghouls because that's the, that's the best way to start the day so I'll be with you in a moment. Here. I Oh wait, ion grenades are for... Let's see if it does anything. Oh, it did do something. That's good. Ion grenades are for... Oh, not again. I need to wear my shield. Oh, How'd you like that? I am not gonna make it. Oh boy. If I die, remember me how I live, like like a fool, but you know, at least I was sassy till the end. There's so many! Oh my freaking gosh, I don't have any more dang nab things. No more, no more Grenaden. I'm here. Oh my gosh, there's so many! <laughs> I do, oh, oh. I'm bar uh. barely, yep, yeah, that was fast. Take that! We shouldn't be this close to them. We shouldn't be this close to them. Play. I'm gonna have to replay stuff and it's gonna suck. Ready? Oh my gosh, she got it. She got the. She got it in on time. I didn't think she would. She got the health pack in on time. Oh, and she's got sniper shot. Okay. Ready? All right. So I tanked the damage, and then all my melee or all my long distance people came in, and mm -hmm. uh, you know. Oh my gosh, I'm almost out of med packs, and she's gonna die. What? Oh my gosh. I'm almost out of med packs. I gotta save her. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, redo sewer. Or no. Undercity. This game, you gotta remember to save. Otherwise, you're just gonna die all the time. And then have to redo everything. Oh no, they were eating somebody! Oh no, it's an actual, an antidote kit, an kit and the Promised Land Apprentice Journal. No, it's the woman. Oh, I forgot. Or the girl, I don't know if it was a woman or a girl or how old or how young you were, but man. I don't know, man. That guy shouldn't have sent her out. Like, man or woman, it shouldn't have been out here by themselves. Like, I kind of don't. Okay, I see it, and I will get to it. I will get to it. Are you an outcast? Or are you a Republic soldier? Oh, holy cow! Look at that one. I feel like these are like outcasts who like came out here and died. A skeletal corpse. Or this was like a rat ghoul. What? Um, like nest sort of maybe and they like brought bodies in here to eat man that would just be the absolute worst mm -hmm. to like die or to, like i don't know like apparently the rat ghouls will attack themselves because the the healer woman said that sometimes they will um is that how i got in no, that's to the lower city what Oh, this is, okay, okay, I was like, I thought this was a new area, but this is the, this is the, like, homestead. And I need to head the direction I'm heading, essentially. Um, I don't know what I was saying before all that, but I'm sure it was great, right? Can I head... Yes, and then I need to turn south. I feel like I've checked, this is annoying, sort of, that, like, I've checked this rubble and, yeah. This way. Because, like, this kind of stuff... Oh my gosh, is that like a Sith? Like a Sith in red? Oh my gosh, that's a bad Sith. A really bad Sith. Sith Patrol Leader. Oh, go. You there, civilian. This is a restricted area. I have paper. What are you doing down here? I have papers. Don't get up in my face. Look, I've got all the proper security papers. Security papers? Oh. You're one of those trackers oh, yes. the commander sent down, right? Uh -huh. They should have given you an armed escort. It's nasty down here. We've already lost.
lost one patrol. We figure the rack ghouls got them. We've had so many encounters with those things, we've actually run out of rack ghoul serum. Plus, we've had several skirmishes That's with not something from you those tell lower people. city swoop gangs. I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control. Uh, you said you lost one patrol already? Oh, you're down here? Search and rescue. I didn't think they'd send anyone. They were in the southern section of the Undercity when we lost contact. I would have gone to investigate, but my orders are to search for those crashed escape pods, even if it means leaving another patrol to die. Uh, wow, that doesn't seem very far-sighted. That seems very short-sighted, in fact. Like, you can always search later for the pods. Like, they'll be there. I guess unless they're scavenged, there's that. But jeez. Um, why don't you just give up the search? Hey, I'd never disobey my orders. I'm not a fan of court martials and executions. I was just talking, you know. Nothing anyone has to mention to the commander. Come on, patrol, let's get back to it. The sooner we get this search done, the sooner we can get out of this mutant infested hole. Move out. There were other questions. I was going to ask other questions, but apparently not. No questions for me. Man, <laughs> my person, my individual. You, would you mind maybe giving me some med packs? I don't have any grenades. Like, that would make things a lot easier, but instead I have frag. How do you even use a frag mine? Oh, you just. Okay. Mine laid and ready. I've never really done it. So we can walk through it. Okay, so if I lay down these frag mines and then lure the rat ghouls over. Maybe. Mine laid and ready. Let's see. Mine laid and ready. Okay. And now I will be what? somebody who's long distance. Oh. Nope, now run this. Oh, myself. Myself is gonna die. Come over here. No, me, uh, okay. Me needs to turn around. Come on, come on, come on. Run, run, run. Run over here. Bring them over here. Yeah, it worked! My plan- Ah! Okay. I was like, my plan worked. Just kidding! Oh, wait, I have an antidote kit, too. Nice. Okay, recover the mine again, if I can. I might have to actually huh? have her do it. I really like, um, what's her name? Freak. Ah, Mission. I really like her design a lot. She's very cute. She has a very distinct face, too. Like, I, it probably because she's, like, a friend, you know, like a companion. But, like, they, they tend to make those... I'm here. The faces of your friends and companions a little more distinct than, like, the randos that you see. Like, random Twi'leks and stuff. But it would be nice if the game didn't, like, give you know, the male Twi'leks, like, ugly faces. Is this, uh, nothing? It's nothing. Cool, it's nothing. Just so you guys know. But I don't think I've ever really used the frag mines before. So that was handy. Okay, so the patrol. He said the patrol was in the southern portion, so hopefully it's here. Um Okay, so here's Mine the, laid so and here's ready. what we do is I lay a bunch of vines and I run in. Mine laid and ready. And then Yeah, and then I run away. Come on, come here. Yay. Oh, no, Time no, no. To rumble. Oh, boy. Okay. Let me put on my shield and you Ready. put on yours. Hmm? And mission will get you one eventually, I promise. Okay. Time to lure at least one more in. Yep. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No. Ha! How'd you like Stop! Oh, my gosh. You guys, come over here. Ah. Oh, my gosh. He's gonna die. No! Time. I don't know how. Okay, disengage. I'm rumble. Disengage. Everybody disengage. Everybody disengage. I'm here. Oh my gosh. Let them run over here, please. My plan is not working as well as I want it to. 
Sith soldier, I see. Ah, I see the little highlight there. Hmm? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I don't have any more. I have what? nothing. She's gonna faint. I'm here. Okay. Okay. Wait. 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 Oh. Oh. Hello. She seems rather dis. I just met her. How do I know? Speak to her. Hey there. What can I do for you? Well, you've got you got those eyes that say you want to talk to me. I want to know a little more about you. All right. We'll, we'll start casual. Do you know anything about the planet we're on? Terrace is a pretty good place to grow up, all things considered. Just stick to the area you belong in and stay out of Davik's business, and you'll be fine. Oh boy, thanks for hey, the info. No problem. I'm here to help, right? Hey there. What? I want to know a little more about you. Really? You want to know about me? Nobody's ever really been interested in me before. What about Zalbar? What do you want to know? How did you and Zalbar hook up? Big Z's my family, you know. My parents, well. I guess like, they're she's dead. Got such a beautiful, it was just me face. on my own until the day I saw Zalbar in the lower city. I could tell right away he was in trouble. This was before the gang wars were out of hand. But even then, the Volkers were scum. A few of them were hassling Big Z, trying to pick a fight, but he wasn't looking for trouble. Wanna pick who would wanna pick a fight with a Wookiee? Hey, nobody said the Volkers were smart, <laughs> but there were three of them. So maybe they figured they could handle him. I don't know. Anyway. I don't like the Volkers at the best of times. And when I saw them picking on this poor Wookiee, all alone on a strange planet, overwhelmed by the big city, I just lost it. I screamed out, leave him alone, you core slimes, and charged right at them. Well, one of them saw me coming and slapped me so hard he just about knocked me cold. Just slapped? Uh, well, you're lucky he didn't fry you or with a blaster. Hey, I don't need a lecture from you. You ain't my mother. I knew what I was doing. You got Those slapped. Those didn't scare me. They're nothing but cowards. I knew how to deal with them. Of course, I never got the chance. I guess Zalbar didn't like seeing me get smacked around. He let out this howl and yanked that Volker a meter up off the ground and held him there by his throat. Uh, what did they do? The other two screamed and ran off. Can't say I blame them. The first time you see an angry Wookiee up close, it isn't a pretty sight. I thought Zalbar was gonna rip that punk's arms off and beat him to death with his own fist. Jeez! The Volker was so scared, he fainted. Or maybe it was Big Z's breath just knocked that him out. That sounds pretty I keep standard. telling Zalbar to brush those choppers of his, but he never listens. Just stay up wind when he's speaking and you'll be fine. Anyway, <laughs> I knew those Volkers would be back with friends, so I grabbed Zalbar and we took off. Ever since then, we've been a team. We look out for each other, you know? Well, I think Wookiees tend to be very family-oriented, and so if it's a Wookiee by themselves, like, they've probably, um, like, uh, like, he also may have done a life debt to her, although not that I don't think she actually saved his life, so they're probably really just friends. Um, but, like, if he's a Wookiee alone on his, like, on his own, he probably, like, latched onto the first, like, I don't know, like, child, like, you see a child kind of running around, like, she's probably much younger then, you know, and... I don't know, I'm just guessing, but like, you know, he sees a kid and he's like, yeah, I'll stick with you. Also, you seem to kind of know what you're doing. How does Zalbar end up on Tarsus? He was fleeing some kind of trouble back on Kashi. Ah, yep. That's all I know, really. Big Z doesn't like to talk about it. In case you didn't notice, he's the strong, silent type. Doesn't much matter to me, though. I accept him for what he is, not what he was. Me and Zalbar like to live in the present. Very philosophical of you. How did you survive before you met Zalbar? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Yeah. You think I can't take care of myself? I've got street smarts. Street smarts. I know how to get street by smarts. on my own. In fact, I look out for Zalbar more than he looks out for me, you know? Big Z's a little bit too gullible to make it alone on the mean streets of the lower city. We should get back to the task. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you're right. Like I used to tell my brother, fast talk and slick words don't get the job done. I didn't know you had a brother. My brother's a touchy subject, you okay, know. Okay, then why'd you bring so him up? Happens, I don't really feel like talking about him right now. Nothing personal. Let's just get back to the business at hand, okay? Okay. You're the one who brought what? him up, but okay. <laughs> you know my brother. A touchy subject. Please don't talk about my brother. Okay. Hmm? Sure deal. Hey, Car. Whoa! You're a pilot for the Republic, right? You've been all over the galaxy, I bet, right? So tell me, how would you rate Taurus compared to other worlds you've seen? To be honest, Mission, Taurus would rate pretty low. 
The prejudiced, the rich spoiling themselves while the poor are crushed beneath them. It, it's not a pretty picture. Yeah, but that's only since the Sith occupation. Before that, well, I guess it wasn't all that different, really. Hmm. Maybe Taurus ain't as great as I thought, you know? Trust me, Mission, there are a lot of worlds better than Terrace. There, there are worse, too, but Terrace is no place for a kid to live on her own. Uh -oh. Even a kid who's got a Wookiee to look out for. Uh -oh. Hey, I ain't no kid. She's sensitive. I look out for Zalbar as much as he looks out for me. Bixie's my friend, not my babysitter. Jeez, I come ask you a question, you give me a lecture. Don't you snap at <laughs> me, Missy. You want a lecture? How's this? Only bratty little children fly off the handle You're because of a You're terrible with kids comment. and women. Like, oh my gosh, like he's terrible with, with women who he's like, he's like, you're flying off the handle at me. I'm like, you're the one accusing me of like treason and ambitions a kid who like is honestly getting by pretty well on her own, like, and has been obviously for a while. And like Big Z, it's nice to have a Wookiee around, but I think he really is just like a friend. And like maybe having that extra like intimidating presence helps her out. But like she's been surviving for longer than she's had him around, so... Although I do think if we do find out, I think later that like she did have her brother for a while. I actually don't know how long it was between the brother leaving and um, Big Z, like her meeting up with him. I don't know how long she was there, but I don't, I don't underestimate her. She's got, she can undo bombs. Like <laughs> she's, she's fine. But like she's a teenager, and you just like question the like independence and like abilities of a teenager. Of course, it's gonna set her off. Uh, settle down right now, both of you. I don't have to listen to you, Karth. Oh my gosh! You're my father, though you're sure old enough to be. So keep your lectures inside your withered old head, because I don't need them. And I sure as hell don't need this. Oh Let's just gosh. drop it and get back to what we were doing. She's a kid who hasn't lived anywhere except here, and you're going to, like, go off on her? She doesn't know anything else other than this world, and you're going to be like, bleh, Karth is actually just, sometimes I want to drop kick him. Give me antidote kit, beam splitter, mid pack, heavy combat suit, blaster rifle, and grapple serum. Yes. Wait, whoa. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. I can't really look very well because I can't like angle my camera down, but that person that sits like the armor is open and their face looks like a skeleton sort of. Oh my gosh. I hadn't noticed that before. Wait, is it the corpse? You two are in the way. I'm trying to pick up this corpse. Corpse. Not pick up the corpse, per se. Pick up the items inside the corpse. How many med packs? Uh-huh. Oh. I think Karth hmm? needs it the most right now. Sewer entrance, perfect, perfect, perfect. Although, okay, let's be fair, let's be real. I should probably go back and take what I have. Although, mm, 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 no, okay, I am going to, cause I have, I'm not gonna do that, but I do have the Rue Kills Apprentice because, uh, what's her name? Oh yeah, and the Infected Outcast. Okay, let's go do that. Um. What's her name? Mission said that um, the hidden entrance to the Volker base is actually in the sewer. So, in order for me to, I don't know, n maybe not come back down here again, at least down here, I will take care of the infected people here and turning in that mission for this guy. Greetings once more, Upworlder. Mm -hmm. I have her journal. It is as I feared then. She joins the list of those who have given their lives in the service of our cause. But though I am saddened by this news, there is yet hope. By finding my apprentice, you have proved yourself Wait. worthy, Upworlder. <laughs> you are to be the beacon on our path Wait. to salvation. You will guide us to the promised land. I don't even know where it is. You are marked, Upworlder. Even my dim old eyes can see the mantle of destiny that cloaks you. Perhaps old Rukil knows you better than you know you, yourself. Uh, you would have I seen old. this sooner then. I have lived a hundred years in the Undercity. 
cast down into the darkness. I know the legends and oh, history boy. of our people. And now you must learn it too. Okay. The great city of Taurus covers the entire surface of this planet. There is no land to grow food. Kelp harvests and the creatures of the sea are our only food source. A century ago, rising levels of toxic pollution poisoned the oceans and famine swept the planet. Hey, that the sounds rich familiar. hoarded food for their own use, wow. and the poor were left to starve and die. That actually From sounds what I've very seen familiar. It doesn't look like much has changed. Except for the upper city, people here are just as bad off as the poor in your little history. But the poor rose up against this tyranny, and civil war engulfed the planet. Ah. Millions died in the fighting, and huge sections of Taurus were destroyed or abandoned. The rebellion was crushed in the end. Thousands were taken prisoner. The jails could not hold them all, and so the practice of banishing all prisoners to the Undercity was born. Ah. And is that how you came to be down here? Many brave men and women were banished here to the Undercity for their part in the rebellion. So they weren't actually People criminals. like my father and grandfather were cast down along with their families. What did you expect? If they could get away with it, the Teresian nobles would stuff their own mothers down here to make more room in the upper city. Now we live a dark oh, existence beneath the streets of Terrace. A life devoid of all hope but one. The promised land. And you will be the one to show us the way to get there. I just put my back. Um, uh, how can I lead you there when I don't even... Okay, what is it? Legends tell of a self-sufficient colony founded just before the famine and lost during the Civil War. A paradise beneath the Undercity where ah. droid servants tend to every need. For many years, I searched for the Promised Land, just as my grandfather and father did before me. When I became old and gray, my apprentice continued the search on my behalf. Sounds like a myth to me. Something to give the people here some false hope to cling to so they don't go mad with despair. I have collected many clues hinting at its location. The journal of my apprentice provides yet more information. But still, there are too many pieces missing from this puzzle. But I know my father and grandfather each had journals where they recorded their own discoveries. Perhaps with their journals, I could at last uncover its hidden location. Okay, so my da dog actually was starting to have a little bit of a seizure. So I had to kind of stop in the middle of his history lesson, unfortunately. Uh, so this is hopefully all the audio and stuff is synced back up. But I did have to end that recording and start this one. Um, but he's fine. Just a little one. Um, but also I had to re, like, go back and look at what he said because I couldn't remember anything about the Promised Land. But there was a big rebellion. Um, back when the planet was being, like, destroyed by, like, t pollution and stuff. And there was a rebellion, and it was crushed. And all the rebe rebels were sent down here. And this guy has, like, journals that he's picked up that should lead them to this u utopian land. Which is the fact that there are droids there to do everything for you. So that no humanoid has to be, like, the slave, like category or case or cast or whatever you know because like that's where most utopias fall down and it's, it's like everyone's gonna be happy and it's like well who's gonna do all the hard stuff that makes society run that nobody wants to do you know and so i think bioshock infinite actually did some really good like commentary on that a little bit like with the game itself so yeah that that's just that doesn't sound like a thing that could happen like unfortunately but you know it's one of those hope things where it's like if you don't have it then what else do you have to live for at this point you know, like i don't know you just gotta you gotta hope in something hopefully something good you know but um i'm so he's yeah each had journals where they recorded their discoveries perhaps with their journals i could at last uncover the hidden location but why don't you have their journals is that what she was is that her own journal or somebody else's and you want me to find one of these you want me to find these missing journals. I have nothing to offer if you help me in this. I hope the knowledge that you are helping the entire village escape a life of darkness and suffering is reward enough. Well, 
I don't know. Yeah, I it can do it. It is many decades since my father set out on his journey. But I remember he was eager to explore the sewers. You might want to begin your search there. I wish you luck in your quest, Upworlder. The future survival of this village, of my people, depends on you. I don't actually remember if I did that, but I assume I did because I'm the type of... Wow, mission, could you be any closer? I am the type of person to do that, so... Let's see what Gendar has to say. Welcome back, Upworlder. I'm surprised to see you again. Many of your kind have passed through. Why mm -hmm. have you come into this dark? Mm. Um. Wait, wait, wait. If I give that serum to him, will it save the people? Hang on. As you wish, Upworlder. Oh, wait, hey, let me go talk to the people in the gate. Yeah. I have a serum. Back again? Is it? I brought the serum to cure the rat cool disease. Your offer is generous, Upworlder, but the serum is useless to us now. The villagers infected with the rat ghoul disease have been quarantined beyond this gate. At any moment, they could be transformed into terrible monsters. Nobody would be foolish enough to risk going into the pens Me. to give them the cure. The infected ones could transform into rat ghouls and attack them at any moment. Do I only have... Wait, 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 wait. Do I Farewell. only have one? Do I only... Because that's the thing. Okay, so if I only have one... Then that messes up the the rat ghoul serum, yes. Which I could give back to the healer. Um or Okay. Okay, so maybe but the one that I have, it would be if I gave it to the guy up at the top, like the healer up top. Would he would he give, be able to give me some for these for these guys or no? All right, time to save and experiment. Um. Sorry, redo uh, serum experiment. All right. Please. Help us! We're infected with the rat ghoul disease. At any moment, we could. Uh, no! Oh my this gosh! No! Oh man! Really? So I can't. But I can maybe save those ones. Hang on. Let's try. Hang on. What's the journal entry that was added? They have already transformed into rat ghouls. It's too late for them. There are others that could be saved. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Well, let's try. Oh. 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 Uh, antidote. Oh, I don't have enough time. Time to rumble. I might die. You asked for this. Okay. Okay. Hello. Please don't turn into a rat ghoul on me. Please. Please, you have to help us. We beg you. We don't want to end up like the others. Please help us. We can't end up like them. I uh, brought you a serum. You, you have a cure? Please give it to me, please, quickly, before it's too late. I have enough for both of you. Quickly, I must inject it before it is too late. Yes, I feel it working. I feel the disease burning away. It, it's like a miracle. I am cured. Thank you, Upworlder. You have saved us from a fate worse than death. I only wish I had some reward to give you. Maybe you can find something worthwhile in the wreckage of that Republic escape pod. Uh, I'm just happy we should go now, Upworlder. We're anxious to return to the village and see our families again. Thank you once again for everything you've done. Journal entry added. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hmm. I uh, just, I don't know if I still have a sample of it, is my thing. Promised Land, Apprentice Journal. I covered evidence that others have been seeking out the fabled land and their tracks have led them into the sewers. Okay. I still have it! Nice! 
Okay. Alright, so I helped those people, which is nice. Haha, I did it. You amaze me. I always thought the surface dwellers couldn't care less about us outcasts. But you risked everything to help those infected villagers. I wish I had some type of reward to give you, but we outcasts have nothing. All I can offer is the gratitude and of that's the entire fine. village. I need you. <laughs> Dope! Oh my gosh! Thank you! Uh, so, I know Overwatch came out like 20 years after this. I need healing. Hello, Genji. You have done a great thing for my village, Upworlder. Few from the surface would bother to cure an outcast of the Rakul disease as you have done. My only regret is that I have no reward to give That's, you for your I aid. like that they're keeping Save up with that. Save my thanks and the thanks of my people. Like, I don't mind. I, I, I don't mind. I honestly As don't. you wish, Upworlder. Because, like, I don't, you know, I find lots of stuff in my travels as I do things, but, you know. Um, it's the, I'm glad they're keeping with it, where it's not like all of a sudden they pull out. Plus, if they gave me something, I'd feel really bad about it, you know? I'd be like, oh, well, uh, this is literally all you had. But, yeah, now we don't have to, don't have to worry about it. We're just here to help. We're actually, we're here for several things, but helping is one. But, okay, I think we're good. Anyway. I'm gonna go now. Hopefully this didn't go on for too terribly long. Um, I know the, the last part went a little bit long, which was, I was like, oh, whoopsie, like I hadn't even noticed, but um, the time. But thank you all for, so much for watching. When we come back, I will go back out, we will go back to the sewers, or we will go out and to the sewers, because I believe we've done everything in this area. So, so far, anyway. So, thank you all again for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.